introducing the Bite Me Cannabis Club. The Bite Me Cannabis Club aims to be an inclusive online space for cannabis lovers. Whether you're simply curious about how cannabis can improve your life or you're fully seasoned, there's always more to learn. When you join the Bite Me Cannabis Club, you'll have access to like-minded people interested in cannabis, monthly workshops, live Q&As, recipes and recipe swaps, digital cookbooks, a fully functional chat feature, and a whole lot more. For a limited time, it's only $5 a month with a 30-day free trial so you can try it out and see if it's right for you. This isn't just another Facebook group or confusing Discord channel. I carefully chose a platform that offers a clear, uncluttered, and seamless community experience. See for yourself. Join today. Say hello. I can't wait to connect with you there. Join the Bite Me Cannabis Club today. Link in your podcast app. In this episode of Bite Me, I share some holiday cheer. Welcome to Bite Me, the show about edibles where I help you take control of your high life. I'm your host, Marge, and I just want to say thank you for being here. I promise I won't sing too much more, but uh, this is going to be a very short episode because it's just about the holidays and many of you are probably spending time with family or friends or whatever the case might be. And I just want to take a minute instead of skipping this week's episode because of the uh, because of the Christmas season, I thought I'd hop on and just wish you all a very Merry Christmas and wish you all happy holidays. No matter how you're celebrating or who you're celebrating with, I hope you're enjoying a lot of wonderful edibles and that you're spending some time relaxing and enjoying some downtime to recharge a little bit and eating some good food. I am going to be sharing a, an eggnog recipe in this, in the show notes for this one. I probably won't talk about it too much in the episode itself. Cause I haven't had, actually haven't made it yet. I do tend to make eggnog every single year because I love eggnog. I don't think words can really accurately describe how much I love eggnog. And there's good reason for that. There's a good reason why it only comes out once a year, actually. And I make it right at Christmas time because it has a ton of eggs, a ton of sugar. It's got cream. It's got milk. It's got alcohol, though you can skip that part. And it's rich. It's so rich. And it's got those cinnamon and and nutmeg and all those things in it that make it a real treat. And it's for me, eggnog is kind of like corn on the cob in the summertime. I don't really eat too much corn, especially corn on the cob. Besides August and Dece- August and September when it's fresh and eggnog is very similar. It's one of those things that I can enjoy. Now, unfortunately, a lot of people in my life are developing or have developed uh, sensitivities to lactose, which means the eggnog's not on the menu for them. So I end up often end up making this big thing of eggnog and I have to drink it all myself. It's outrageous. So of course I'm going to be infusing it. And I've looked at a few recipes. I could, inf- I might just infuse some of the cream and add that in. Or I have some of those ripple powders. I like to keep those in my cupboard as well. And if you can get some of those, they're handy to keep for something like that. So I can make the eggnog and just stir some in. I might do it that way as well, because maybe somebody else might be joining me on this. I'm not really sure. Chris definitely won't be d- joining me on this because he's been finding lately uh, that dairy does not agree with him at all. And I don't think he's a big eggnog fan anyway. So perhaps... Perhaps you'll make some of this eggnog. I'll I'll link to a good recipe in the show notes. I have to go back and see what one I tend to make. I might have one in a binder because I do have I love to have a binder with recipes that I've made that I love that I think I'll revisit again. So I'll see if I can I dig one up. I mean, most of them are pretty well the same. It's the same f- handful of ingredients that go into a, a pitcher and and that that's it. But if you do end up making this recipe, just know that wherever you are, I too will be sipping on some eggnog by a crackling Netflix fire on Christmas, Christmas Eve, Boxing Day, until it's gone, actually. And I will be infusing it. So will you join me? Will you join me in the eggnog? Now, if eggnog is not your thing because you too also suffer from some sensitivities to dairy, I can appreciate that. Nobody wants to do that to themselves. So I'll also include a link to the cider recipe because what warms you up nicer than hot cider? And that's something else you can infuse. I've done one for the show before and I think it used infused honey. 
So I'll link to that episode. So maybe you can be sipping a, a warm apple cider by the fire, whether it's a real fire or a Netflix fire like mine. You can enjoy that as well. So just know, friends, that wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whoever you're spending time with, I'll be at my house spending time with my family, sipping on infused eggnog. I'll probably make apple cider too because I love that stuff so much as well. And I'll be thinking of wonderful edibles to make for the new year. And I hope you are all enjoying wonderful edibles as well. So until next week, my friends, enjoy the time with your family and friends. Are you tired of trying edibles that are inconsistent in strength and flavor? Attempting to figure out your tolerance? Do you want to take control of your edibles experience and find the optimum combination of factors that results in the best outcome? If so, this edibles journal is perfect for you. The Bite Me Edibles Journal provides a convenient and organized way for you to track and record your edibles experience, whether it's homemade edibles or store-bought. It includes 48 fillable pages It's sized 8.5 by 11 for plenty of writing space, includes information on calculating the potency of homemade edibles, and it was created by an edibles expert. Whether you're a seasoned edibles enthusiast or just starting out on your cannabis journey, the Bite Me Edibles Journal is an essential tool for anyone interested in enjoying their edibles to the fullest. Take control of your high life with this convenient and helpful resource. Add it to your Amazon cart today. Tap the link in the show notes.